And good morning, it's Lupe, Classic Hits, 92.7 and 95.3. And we're in the Street Beat studio this morning with Ellen Farnsworth and Nancy Lewis of the Wild Blueberry Festival. And they're going to tell us what's happening, what's new. Wow. Well, um, I think that the big thing is that we are going to have vendors there this Friday. Um, Typically, the vendors have only been there Saturday and Sunday. But we're going to have over 50 vendors on the green space next to the church. Um, And then the full contingent of vendors will be there Saturday and Sunday. So, um, But you get your shopping done early. (laughs) (laughs) And we have a lot of our favorites. Uh, The pie eating contest this weekend, the quilt sales, the all you can eat fish fry on Friday night, uh, the all you can eat pancake breakfast on Saturday morning. Um, We have musical entertainment on the steps all day Saturday and a a contra dance on Sunday at 1 p.m. We'll be dancing in the streets, so bring (laughs) your dancing shoes. Um, We also have an MC for the weekend, Brian Giles, who's a comedian in the area, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, his quips and quotes. (laughs) And uh, not to forget the children, we have a... uh, children's activity tent on the green space on Saturday. And this year we also have a magician coming at 2 p.m. to entertain children of all ages. And this is a rain or shine event. So even though the weather forecast uh, doesn't sound all that great, we will be there. Yep, we will. The, v- the vendors um, all have their tents, and uh, know, the forecast is a little iffy. It's saying showers. Showers is better than rain. <laughs> Chance um, of showers. She has the showers. <laughs> so, you know, just bring your umbrella in case. A um, couple other things. There's the five-mile race and the one-mile fun run Saturday morning at 8. Um, what else? Oh, just because, lots of food yeah. and lots of blueberries. So bring your appetite. Yeah. We have an amazing dessert buffet in the church vestry on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and, and a worship service at 10 a.m. on Sunday to celebrate the, the uh, festival and the blueberry harvest. Right. Um, under the 10, also on Saturday and Sunday, is food sales. We have... Uh, crab rolls, lobster rolls, blueberry sausage. Um, That's different. <laughs> yeah. Blueberry soda. Blueberry soda. <laughs> blueberry be, ice cream. Right. The blueberry soda will be for sale at the information booth. And um, I don't know, there's just tons going on. It's such a great family event. And it's free. I mean, there's no admission charge. So just come and some of the events oh the musical oh the musical (laughs) so we have a a musical that actually began running tuesday night um blueberry festival every year we do an original uh, musical comedy this year it's called blue harvest and i haven't seen it i'm going tonight i hear it's amazing and it's um a cross with Star Wars and the Muppets. So <laughs> I, I can't wait to see what that looks like. And, and that's, uh, that's tonight at 7 o'clock? That is tonight at 7. The Blueberry and Musical. Yes, the Blueberry Musical. Yeah. And I, there are tickets that are still available that people can buy, purchase online at www.machiasblueberry.com. Or there could be tickets available at the door also. Oh, so. okay. So it could be sold out. We, we could be. We could be. Yeah. Uh, I think we're okay for tonight. Typically, Friday and Saturday nights are sold out, but oh, sometimes okay. there's a few tickets. You know, people can't make it for whatever reason. Okay. So don't give up hope. <laughs> <laughs> and you're listening to Classic Hits 92.7 and 95.3, and we're talking the Wild Blueberry Festival with Ellen Farnsworth and Nancy Lewis. MachiasBlueberry.com, a wildly fun festival. You got it. <laughs> we hope to see you there. We will be. I'll, I will definitely be there. <laughs> we'll be broadcasting live from there. Uh, I believe it's, uh, let's see, it's 10, 10 to noon, yes, yep. and that's probably right in the middle of the uh, pie-eating contest. It <laughs> is. The pie-eating contest starts at 11, and that is always a huge crowd favorite, and uh, where you guys have your, um, where you're broadcasting from, you've got a bird's-eye view of all the activity there, nice. so <laughs> it'll be fun. And they had ESPN there a few years ago, didn't they? They yeah. did. Yep, um, <laughs> that was, uh, they were there for the, who was it, 15? 50 sporting events or uh, a sporting event for every state. Oh, wow. And they chose the piety contest <laughs> to be the main sporting event. About how many people do you have that do that? 
four, the piety contest, 40, there's, oh, there's 40. 40. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's so you four categories and 10 contestants in each category. And the way you are, you're chosen, we have a lottery. Um, so you put your name in between 8 and 10 that morning, and then you're drawn, uh, your name is drawn to get the 10 contestants. So... Um, you know, you, you're taking a chance by putting your name in, but <laughs> what, what else you have going on? Oh, Nancy wanted me. Yeah, okay. we do have prizes for the uh, pieing contest this oh, okay. year. We typically haven't done that. They've gotten a free T-shirt, but okay. this year a winner in each category is going to get twenty-five dollars cash. Oh wow! Yeah, nice. Yeah, the cooking contest is going on tomorrow. Um, entries need to be from scratch and include Maine wild blueberries. They will be accepted at the Manchia Savings Bank community room between 9 and 11. Judging is from 11 to 3, and then the winners will be announced at 6 on from the church steps. There are cash prizes for that to the... Um, Best overall gets $100, the best double crust pie gets $100, and the best boy and best girl, they each get $50. Are, are people already signed up for that? And no. You just bring it in. Oh, just bring in uh, your yeah, food? Yeah, just bring oh, okay. in your So your you have to cook it at home already? And, right, cook it at home. But it has to be from scratch. Right, absolutely, <laughs> yep. Nice. Must have some good stuff going oh, on. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> who are the judges? <laughs> um, this year, um, MJ Zaroli, who used to be a chef in New Jersey, and uh, Charlie Urquhart, Bobby Joe Bordeaux, and there's a woman whose name, I'm sorry, I can't remember, from Bar Harbor, who I think is writing a cookbook, I believe. So we have four great judges that will be uh, – getting a chance to taste lots of entries <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to cover uh, what about uh, maybe show? people that have, people that helped who are there, all the people that helped you got to uh, see names uh, <laughs> I don't know what we would do without our volunteers I yeah I'm I'm afraid that I would yep, forget yep, somebody but they're true. they're amazing it's just you know we're it, a small church and but it's not just the church, it's the community, too, that really mm -hmm. pitches in. And it's, it's a great community event. That's yeah. pretty much a year-round thing that you're working on. That. Exactly. It, it is. <laughs> it is. As soon as we finish up in August, we start again planning for the next year in yeah. September. That's right. Oh. No, but it's fun. We, we yeah. have fun doing it. Yeah. All right. Anything else? that we might have missed? Was there something you wanted the to... Parade? The, parade. the Children's Parade. Yeah, yeah. the parade. Children's Parade. Friday okay. night, uh, the Children's Parade at 6 p.m. And afterwards, they the children go up to the University of Maine at Machias for a... Um, children's show this year it's a puppeteer, puppeteer yeah the, fr the frog there. frog mountain puppeteers Puppet frog mountain puppeteers right right <laughs> we'll be there so and that's all free as well so all righty are Excellent. you guys all set i thank, think we're set thank we're you guys good. for being here so everybody come to the festival it'll be a great time all righty and that's the machiasblueberry.com that's where they can find out the information that's right Anything we have full else? schedule of events so you, there. you have st stuff for uh handicap uh oh handicap we do park. Yep. we yeah. have handicap parking right on main street in between uh machias savings bank uh community room building and their education center and we also have a golf cart type vehicle that can oh, um, take, take people from okay. your and, you, car. and you still have the thing going on at Shut the, the shopping shuttle center. Service. Yeah, okay. from Hannaford yep. shopping um, parking lot, and uh, they can take that right to. I, any idea what time those run, or they're running all? They day? run all day on okay, Saturday. Day. It's just on Saturday. Okay. Um, that's when parking is the most challenging. So people just go to Hannaford, park their car, and they get shuttled into Machias. So. And you have plenty of Wi-Fi all over the place exactly. there. We do. So we do. Everybody we do. can post and do yep. their selfies and Absolutely. video. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. All right, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank uh, you. Thank you for having us. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, on Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen Far that was Ellen Farnsworth and Nancy Lewis of the Wild Blueberry Festival. And you can find out all the information at machiasblueberry.com. Blueberry.com.